Alrighty then. There's CJ. She's getting a little bit bigger. Alright, um, yeah, so we're in Gent, Kentucky. Got my stuff on, my vest, my hard hatch down there. Um, we just checked in. Can't really turn it all around. We just checked in right there. And uh, waiting for us to call it back. We're getting a big call today. Let's see if I can switch up there. Mm. So we're getting a big call. It's 51,000 pounds. Hmm. Right? That's what I'm thinking. And uh, I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll be, uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be overweight with this truck and trailer. And, uh, I'm tired. I should have been over here hours ago, but when I unloaded this morning up there in, um, just south of Cincinnati, my air dryer on the truck broke hose on it. So, I sat there for hours and hours waiting. But, we got it fixed, the air pressure is holding good. Um, yeah, other than that, look at this. I finally got to the big boys. Oh snap, look at that. Finally got me a good headset. Yep, yep. <clears throat> so, we're doing that. And, uh, I've got my bag of garbage. I'm gonna throw away whenever I get ready to throw away. Uh,. <clears throat> So we're loading this coil up, we got a tarp it, and we're going to take it to Atlanta, Georgia, which ain't far away, according to the GPS, it's only like 7 hours and 4 minutes, but I've never loaded this new car before, so I don't know how, how long they take, or anything like that. I know it's a little different than what I've other new cores I've loaded up before. You have to pull across the street, check in, and then wait until they give you your thing or your tell you what to do, your staging area. And you gotta pull out of here, go a mile down the road, turn left, go up the hill, turn left, and scaling over there. Stupid. But other than that. Yeah, I'm tired. Oh my god. Other than that, we uh, seem to be doing alright, I guess. Long weekend coming up, thank goodness. Labor Day weekend. Um. With a regular flatbed now, I don't know when I'll get the Conestoga back. Maybe a week or two. I don't know. Don't really care. For being a Conestoga, it's kind of a pain in the ass. I'd, I'd much rather keep just a regular flatbed. But it ain't gonna happen. Um, yeah, so... We'll load this crap up, take it down to junky ass Atlanta. Um, 
unload there. He told me he's gonna have me unload in Atlanta tomorrow and then try to keep me south for the holiday so I can go home because normally I would take up here like in Kentucky and go north like Pennsylvania, New York but he's having me stay local or not local but stay in the south so I can get home at a decent time Friday. For the past two Fridays I've gotten home late. So you wanna see where we at? Look at this. Isn't that pretty? We out here doing our thing. And go from there. But yeah. So after I get loaded, I will take a video of it. I already know some people are gonna complain about the chains I got. I swapped trailers. Now I got a six chains on me. Normally I carry 10 or 11 chains just because I'd rather be, I'd rather have more securement than I need and not enough. And right now I don't have enough. So I'll have to put some straps on it with chains. tarp it but after I get loaded if I can take a video before I tarp it I'll take a video of it if not I'll take a video when it's tarped so yeah we'll do that appreciate it uh, subscribe if you want to I don't do a whole lot of stuff on YouTube anymore but every once in a while I'll make a video put it on here normally I'm on uh, I do a lot of stuff on Facebook not so much Instagram no more. But if y'all want to look, if y'all want to check out my Insta, my Facebook stuff, then go for it. Uh, it's just my name on there, so Stephen Thornhill. So, yeah, you see a picture of me, in a gray T-shirt, and you see a white chuck that kind of stuck on the background. That's my page. I don't have that white truck no more. I got rid of it. I had to get rid of it because of the weight issues. It was too heavy. The truck itself weighed 23,000 pounds, so too heavy to pull a Conestoga and the weight we pulled, so I had to get rid of it. Now I got a Cascadia Freightliner, and good things are coming in the future. Yep, yep. So y'all prepare yourselves for that too. Buzz, right now I'm in 2012 Freightliner. It's not that bad, but oh well. Anyway, y'all subscribe if y'all want to. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, that's it. Peace.